Today, UN Environment, together with the UNFDTU partnership, launched the new emissions gap report here at COP22 in Marrakesh. And what the report shows this year is, first of all, it gives an impression of how, how are we doing in terms of pre-20 mitigation action. It looks at emissions trends up towards 2020, and it looks at the progress that countries are making in implementing and living up to achieving the Cancun emission reduction pledges by 2020. What the report shows is that there's still a substantial gap between where we're headed and where we need to be in order to have a likely chance to stay well below 2 degrees Celsius and an even greater gap if we want to reach the 1.5 degree target. We also look into different areas where action can be boosted and accelerated to bridge the gap. This year we look particularly into non-state actors and the role of non-state action. And we look into the role of energy efficiency in, in reducing emissions and bridging the emissions gap. As a third feature, this year we look into the nexus between the sustainable development goals and mitigation that is in line with the Paris Agreement goals. This is a new area and it is especially important since the Paris Agreement directly refers to the sustainable development goals and to poverty eradication. We hope that this can help inform discussions and we look forward to producing future emissions gap reports.